Cold bets are off tonight. Online sports gambling suddenly halted in Florida after a major court ruling. So what happens now? Let's get right to Local 10's Glenna Milberg, live now with what happens and what it all means. Glenna. Well, by all accounts, it is definitely not over yet. This afternoon, the tribe actually filed for a stay to keep doing its business. They want the whole thing dismissed altogether. What's so interesting about this whole case, remember this, that back in the 1970s, when federal Indian gaming laws were written, the Internet didn't even exist. There is no precedent for this. The app is still live, though the Seminole Tribe's new online sports book is ruled illegal, the unprecedented centerpiece of its new gambling compact with the state of Florida. It was an un unsettled legal uh, issue. They wanted to do the sports, and so we said fine, and the reason why I said that is because it would probably pass on a referendum anyways. And the then governor and tribe are not named in the lawsuit. Miami's Magic City Casino and another in Bonita Springs sued the secretary of the U.S. Department of Interior that okayed the state's unprecedented deal. That's who oversees IGRA, the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act that says tribe gaming has to stay on tribe land. Here, Florida's deal gives the Seminoles online gambling as long as the actual servers stay on tribe property. The judges take on that. The court cannot accept that fiction, and parties may not evade limitation by deeming activity to occur where it, as a factual matter, does not. We'll support whatever we can to, to v validate the compact. The deal was meant to score the state an initial $2.5 billion by giving the Seminoles a gaming exclusive, while not technically expanding gambling, which can only be done through voters. All parties involved are staying quiet publicly tonight, though we do know the Magic City owners put out a statement about they are celebrating also consider that this is kind of a win by default to the other entities who have filed lawsuits, some against the state for gambling expansion, uh, deep pocketed anti gambling people like Norman Brayman and Ar Armando Codina or some the no casinos entity statewide. But as we said, this is by no means over yet. I'm Glenna Milberg live in Hollywood tonight. Local 10 News.